Hey everybody, and welcome back to the blog spot. Today we're going to talk about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan. And specifically what we're going to talk about is the spoilers giving us the storyline for the show. Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, will air sometime this summer in 2021, but I'll keep you posted about the date. But before we get started with the spoilers, I want to talk about what power creator Courtney Kemp previously told Entertainment Weekly about the shows. Courtney said that their path making the shows where different characters come in and out of other people's shows. She says there's crossovers and some of your favorite characters will come back even if they don't get their own spinoff. They will show up in places. Okay, now let's go on to the spoilers. London Brown will play Marvin, who is the muscle for Raquel. Marvin is the older brother to Raquel and Lulu Thomas. He's also the father to Jukebox and uncle to Kanan. The oldest of the Thomas siblings, what he lacks in smarts, he makes up in volatile aggression. A hothead who is quick to spring to a fight, he's a mainstay of the family business and as such, freely asserts his opinions on how to run things. Though his ideas are typically dismissed by his smarter, shrewder, younger siblings. His quick temper and loud personality make it difficult for his daughter, Jukebox, to connect with him, not that he even noticed her attempts. Malcolm Mays will play Lulu, Raquel's confidant. He is the youngest of the three Thomases, an uncle to Canaan and Jukebox. Unlike Raquel and Marvin, Lulu is seemingly gentle and soft-spoken, but he is also tough and fiercely loyal and won't hesitate to pull the trigger when called upon. Often the voice of reason, Raquel trusts Lulu's judgment and relies on him as her right-hand man for work and family matters. Lulu has a passion for the music business and has big dreams of a future beyond the family business. Next is Shanley Caswell, who will play Detective Burke, who is the newly minted partner of Detective Howard, who is played by Omar Epps. A third generation cop, but first generation female detective from a long line of Irish cops. She is also the first female detective in her family. She is hardworking, smart, and desperate to project a tough exterior, both to her partner and to the hard knock crews she encounters on patrol. But Burke is green and it shows. Next is Toby Sandeman, who will play Symphony Bosquet. Symphony is handsome, suave, cool, and confident, intelligent, and intellectually curious. Symphony is getting his master's in urban planning while moonlighting as a bartender at a popular nightclub. When he meets Raquel, sparks fly, and despite their very different worlds, they quickly form a real, authentic connection that will challenge them both. Joey Badass will play unique, undeniably the biggest dealer kingpin in South Jamaica, Queens, Unique was handed the keys to the castle by his brother, who's spending the rest of his life in prison. Unique is Raquel's main rival, 
in the quest for domination of the streets. Unique is handsome, hard, shrewd, and he's the man in every way. Unique runs the blocks negotiating for control of the neighborhood, and when there's an obstacle, he's tough but fair until he isn't. If a rival crosses a line, Unique will always retaliate to protect his own. Quincy Brown recurs as Crown, who is a local music producer. Okay, that's going to do it for me. But before I go, I'm going to put the music video by 50 Cent for the show in the description below the video. Please like and share the video. Post your comment. Subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.